A mystery unraveling around this valley show dog. Its owner thinks the prize winning pooch was poisoned, while others think it had a rare blood disease. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez just finished talking with the owner. And Mary Ellen, this was just an incredible story, surprised all of us here in the newsroom. It certainly is very surprising, Katie. We caught up with Cruz's owner and breeder, Lynette Blue, here at the Fiesta Cluster Dog Show in Scottsdale, where she is showing another one of her dogs. But she is heartbroken, and she truly believes that someone poisoned her beloved Cruz while he was competing at the Westminster Dog Show in New York. It's, it's tragic. Dog obedience competitor Glenn Morton is shocked someone would poison a fellow competitor's dog, but he says it's absolutely believable. There's just that 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 small percentage of people that uh, you know you always have to be alerted to. Maybe they're mentally ill or something. I don't know. You know. Cruz, an award-winning show dog, suddenly died after competing at the Westminster Dog Show. It was days later when Cruz was competing at the next big dog show in Denver. He started coughing up blood. He died at the pet hospital. His breeder and owner, Lynette Blue, tells us she believes he may have been poisoned. The test showed he had no clotting factor, which is indicative of rat poison, a warfarin type of poison. The veterinarian that took care of Cruz told Blue that the poison he may have ingested usually takes three to five days to kill. He is a product of years and years of my breeding program. And it's, it's a tragedy. Cruz's handler, Robert Chafin, believes extreme animal rights activists may be to blame, although there is no proof. But Glenn Morton believes it could be true. Uh, they're the people that, um, like if you're at a dog show, they'll come in and open up the dog crates and let your dogs go loose. Now, Blue tells us that she was so devastated after hearing that Cruz was dead. She didn't think to have a, any test done after his death that would prove he was poisoned. So there's no proof. Everything she has right now is circumstantial. Cruz, however, was just three years old, just a pup, and he had such a promising career ahead of him. Katie? Yeah, three years, but enough time for so much love. I know they put so much time into him. Thank you, Mary Ellen.